Hi, I'm Pete, one of the founders here at Deep Haven Data Labs. Historically, I've found that fast, real-time data can be challenging to work with. Stream processors are okay for really basic ETL, but I come from the hedge fund space where pretty much the whole business runs in real time. We started working on the Deep Haven query engine, building it from the ground up to make real-time data easy and accessible. Come on, let's take a look. You can see that I'm quickly hooking up a Kafka feed. I just articulate some configuration as seen on the left. And then here's what happens, both in the engine server side and in the client UI. That Kafka event stream gets turned into a table that updates in real time. Since it's a table, it should feel pretty intuitive and easy to work with. And there's lots of things I can do directly from the UI. For example, create a new column as I did a moment ago, or you know, make a roll up as I am here, play with it, stuff, stuff like that. But let's talk about what you can do programmatically. Table and time series operations are first class. Here, I'll filter the table and then do an as of join and calculate a new column using Python methods. You can also do this in Java or in SQL. And then when I run this script, uh, a new table arrives. And as you can see, it continues to update as that source Kafka feed streams in new data. Now we'll do an aggregation. See, still real time, no real engineering required. I can build real time plots and complete dashboards without changing my workflow. And everything just ticks as new data arrives from your streams, feeds, queues, and applications. Now I'm going to move to VS Code and try and show you the important building blocks and how to work with them. Here's the first thing to know, whether data is batch and static or streaming and dynamic. In Deephaven, you always interact with it as a data frame. Here I'm accessing a data catalog. You can either or both get real-time data and batch data from it. That produces on the left the batch partitions from yesterday, and on the right, I have the current data from today. You can see it ticking. We call these things live data frames. They're column-oriented ordered tables. They're easy to work with, a little like a pandas data frame or a SQL table. To build applications, you essentially set up little relationships between these live data frames, and everything just works. You construct graphs or DAGs out of them, essentially snapping together little data frames as real-time building blocks, like Legos. It's highly composable and that matters a lot. Here's a little DAG that aggregates the batch and streaming data and then merges them, as you can see on the top, or joins them, as seen on the bottom. Here's an application management UI and one for access controls. You can see that Deephaven has solutions well beyond its query engine. From real-time fan out at scale to app dev and IDEs to dashboards for real-time monitoring and interactivity, ePaven tries to lighten your load. The whole web framework is open source, so there's tremendous potential for customization. In this library, ePaven UI lets you use Python to lay out all sorts of visualizations and interactive web applications. I think you'll like it. It's essentially streamlit or dash, but made for real-time data. Scheduling and managing live applications is super easy. Once an app exists, it opens up all sorts of patterns, like connecting headless client applications. Here I have a little C++ client app that is using this onTick method to receive all the table updates and then do whatever it wants client side. In this case, it's just doing a simple aggregation every few seconds. People love to use Jupyter as a client for Deephaven. Subscribing to ticking tables from server-side applications or exploring data using the UI widgets and just building stuff, as you'd expect. Excel is another favorite client. For diverse teams, just being able to type the name of an application and a table and then inherit real-time and batch work product right in Excel with everything continuing to update is just pretty sweet. Below are links to Deephaven via Docker, PIP, and other methods for you to use it for free. If you need to scale to millions of messages per second and are looking for a more complete bubble wrap system, please reach out about the enterprise offering. Real-time data is powerful. It's now also easy to use. Have fun.